seen much of Florida's offense? Do you know much about their offense? Um, I haven't really watched too much film on them yet, so we're probably going to start our preparation for them today. Reaching this point, getting to the SEC championship, I mean, you guys have known for a while you've been playing with your max against the wall. You almost had to be perfect to get to this point. Now, now that you've achieved that, do you guys reflect at all, or is it all focused on the right now? Oh, man, we're all focused on this game. You, you really don't have time to reflect you know, in our business. So we're really just focused on preparing, having a good week of practice, and get ready to go down and have fun in uh, Atlanta this weekend. Jim McElwain last night uh, kind of made a joke about your front seven. He was asked about the front seven and said he's more like the front 30 because they have so <laughs> many guys. Um, I guess first, what's your, what's your reaction to the phrase you get sometimes <laughs> from coaches? Oh, man, I mean, it's, it's always nice to hear, but at the same time, we took with the grain of sand because if we have a bad game, and then they'll be at our throat. So we really don't worry about what they say about us. We just worry about going out there and playing good football day in and day out. But, it, I mean, even still, I mean, I know you guys are in the moment, but it's got to be hard to ignore some of the praise and some of the things that people have been saying about the defense. It seems like the defense every week is getting more and more dominant. You've only given up 55 points in your last five games. Yeah, it might not be as hard as you think if you knew how Coach Bowles was. We're probably going to get ripped today for something. So, I mean, you know, when, when you have a coach like Coach Bowles, it is very easy to stay humble. Nick Saban has said several times that the focal point, especially here at the end of the season, is to finish strong. How has he reiterated that day in and day out of practice? Just by keeping the same intensity, intensity we did at the beginning of the season. You know, a lot of players sometimes, you know, they, they take off. And not specifically talking about our team, we're just talking in general. You know, some players will take off and relax because we feel like we've accomplished none. But, you know, we're just really just trying to stay focused and keep up our mental intensity. What makes Kirby Smart a good defensive coordinator? His relentless, his relentless attitude, you know, he spends – so many extra hours in the film room, breaking down opponents and doing all the extra stuff that a lot of people want to do. And you definitely see that in his work. You know, he always has us in the right position, the right front, giving us the right call for the right situation. So, you know, I would, I would definitely say his relentless effort to, you know, trying to be perfect. When you're dealing with the defense that is so talented, I mean, really, can any of you guys could start, but then, you know, there is that rotation. How does he get everyone to buy into that system when, you know, guys who may be good enough to start aren't? Well, you know, after the last two years and how we didn't end the season how we wanted to, it's kind of easy to get guys to buy in because, you know, we, we just kind of see it when we try to do it our way, what happens. So, you know, we have nothing else to do but to buy in or we're going to repeat what we did the last two years. Talk about the rich history of Florida and Alabama and the SEC championship. It's like a, it's almost like it's happened so many times. And then unlike the late 90s, like y'all are the heavy favorites. And talk about that. Oh, definitely. You know, this has been a rich rivalry that I've seen growing up, and I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of it. No, so I'm, I'm excited to play Florida in the SEC Championship this week. They have a more mobile quarterback, and, you know, when you guys have to deal with somebody who can run and move the pocket, how does that change you guys as a front seven trying to get to them? I mean, we really don't feel like it, it changes how we rush. You know, we definitely got to be more smart, take less risk, but, you know, we're still going to try to be aggressive up front and try to get pressure with just four guys down. When you mentioned Bo Davis, just to give, give us some insight into what he's like in practice and how he, uh, how he grades you guys. Oh, man, he, he's an intense individual. I mean, nothing's taken for granted with Coach Bo, you know. If he gives you a compliment, you definitely earned it. So, you know, he, he definitely keeps us hungry when he keeps us hungry. That's something I can definitely say. Any SEC championship game is just going to be special, but when it is Alabama and Florida, does it add maybe a little extra something to it? I, I could definitely say for the outsiders, but for us, it's just football. We're just here to play football. And I honestly mean that. It doesn't matter who we're playing. We're just happy for an opportunity to play, and we're just getting ready for the game Saturday. They're not scoring a lot of points, but that, that doesn't matter as far as the focus goes. Oh, not at all. I mean, they made it to the SEC Championship for a reason, you know. So, so they won 10 games this year. They're a very talented team. We're just focused on playing our, our best football right now. How much has, has Ruben, you know, kind of evolved as a player? I know it, it was uh, they were talking a lot about his tackling form a couple of years ago and, and that sort of thing. How much have you seen him grow as a player and how much more confidence do you have in him as a teammate now? I feel like as a leader, he's definitely grown the last two years, you know. Obviously, his tackling form has gotten way better. As a player and a person, he's become, you know, he's just matured a lot and got a lot better on and off the field. And we, we just love playing with him and love playing in front of him.